thank you all very much for coming and welcome to this symposium for Maryland's oyster industry, innovative ideas from around the country. We appreciate you taking your Sunday afternoon to come here. <clears throat> and we also appreciate our speakers and panelists for taking their Sunday afternoon to share their knowledge and ideas with us. This came out of the Oyster Futures Project. It's a project that was funded by the National Science Foundation. And my name is Elizabeth North. I'm from the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science, Horn Point Lab. And uh, my colleagues listed on this slide, we wrote a proposal to bring in money um, to test a process. We're testing a new approach for developing fishing regulations and restoration policies that are integrated and consensus-based, informed by the needs of major stakeholders, and guided by both stakeholder and scientific knowledge. These are our stakeholders. These are the, the folks um, who have agreed to serve on the stakeholder work group to uh, test this approach with us. Their names are here listed. We have uh, six watermen, two aquaculturists, a seafood buyer, environmental groups represented, as well as uh, agencies, federal and state agencies. And the stakeholder work group is a consensus-driven group, 60% are from industry. But for an idea to move forward, the, uh, there needs to be 75% agreement, which encourages cooperation and collaboration to come up with ideas that meet the needs of all the stakeholders at the table. It, we also have uh, scientists who support the stakeholders group and we are trying to incorporate both scientific and local knowledge into this uh, process. Our stakeholders requested that we hold this symposium and, and that's why we're doing that. So here, that's the background. Uh, this is the organization committee and I wanna uh, point out Jane Thomas, I think you all have met her coming in and uh, she was the one who was able to help us put this together. A lot of people from our um, stakeholder group uh, helped us, Johnny Shockley, Jeff Harrison, and, so, and Cody Paul and Greg Kemp. Uh, we have the uh, people from Oyster Futures, and importantly, Marilyn Seagrant, uh, our science communication experts here in Maryland. Um, Kira Givens is helping with the exit survey that you all, I hope, will per, uh, participate in. And then we have colleagues from uh, NOAA, and especially Chris Judy um, here in the audience to, uh, who have uh, helped us uh, put this symposium together. And the support comes from, the major support is from NOAA National Sea Grant College Program and Frederica Mosier, the um, head of Maryland Sea Grant, and Mike Wilberg and I were able to put that, uh, put that proposal together and fortunately we got it funded. And we also wanna thank Don Bosch, Frederica again, David Blazer, Suzanne Skelly, and Peyton Robertson from NOAA Ox Cooperative Oxford Lab, Maryland DNR Sea Grant, and <coughs> UMC's University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science for the, um, funding support and uh, support of their staff that has allowed us to pull the symposium together. So these are, this is our NASCAR logos of all the people and who have uh, helped with this event. And I would like to thank everyone on the organi organizing committee and our sponsors for helping pull this together. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Frederica Moser just to say a few words about what's happening in Maryland. Welcome to everybody. It's a pleasure for us to be here. Maryland Sea Grant, um, if you're aware of it or not, has been um, at the University System of Maryland um, underneath UMSEs for uh, 35 years, uh, getting closer to 40 actually now. Um, and we've been very engaged in fisheries in the state of Maryland for a long time and in bringing together um, different audiences to talk about fisheries issues. We support research, education, and outreach on um, fisheries topics, so this was a great fit for us. We've um, had our extension agents, who some of you may know, working in oyster issues at Horn Point Lab, as well as elsewhere in the state of Maryland, and um, I really want to do a shout out to them, because they have been terrific over decades of moving this discussion among lots of different fisheries, but oysters uh, certainly too forward. So um, I just want to, there were so many people that are so involved in this issue. Um, the, organizing committee decided that it, that we'd never get to talking about oysters and what everybody is here to hear about, which is what else is going on outside of Maryland in the, the oyster industry. And so if you guys have looked in your booklet that, that you have here, um, we put this together to just give a snapshot view of, and who knows how many people, the mistake with doing this is you always leave somebody out, right? So, you know, if that happened, um, shoot me as the messenger. <laughs> uh, um, 
but we, we encourage you to just to get an idea of that. There's also materials, we set a lot of our uh, Maryland Sea Grant materials out there. There's also information from the National Shell Fisheries Association. So I encourage you to collect some of that stuff. We have a, a magazine, Chesapeake Quarterly, that uh, is there and we've repeatedly uh, had issues talking about the, the oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. And I'm also glad that our team is here to be uh, recording this meeting and then we're going to take that material and make it available to those who weren't able to come today. So thank you very much, Elizabeth, and thank you to the audience. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Great, okay. So onward, I'm going to introduce Jeff Blair, and this is Bob Jones. They're uh, facilitators from the Florida State Consensus Center, and uh, they'll be running the show. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, welcome everybody. So what I want to do is basically just kind of go over what we're here to do today and also put your power cord back in. A couple of, of, I'm Jeff Blair, this is Bob Jones. We work at the FCRC Consensus Center of Florida State University uh, and we're just here to be, to be a neutral moderator. We're also the facilitators for the Oyster Futures Work Group. And so that's sort of our connection to this process and, and with this group. And this is really a, an outfall from that committee in terms of ha being interested in thinking about what people are doing around the country, some innovative ideas, and how they may or may not be transferable or useful to Maryland, to Maryland's uh, oyster uh, fishery and resource. So I'm gonna ask just a couple of things, and that's some simple ground rules. Uh, during the opportunities to speak, if you would raise your hands, I'll, we'll make sure everybody gets an opportunity to talk. And I would ask you to, even if you've already made your mind up about issues, try to have an open mind. This is, this is not about trying to reach any sort of an agreement. It's just about exploring alternatives. What are the pros and cons? And that will be very useful input to the Oyster Futures work group. The work group will then be able to take your discussions, your ideas, your thoughts, and evaluate those and, 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 just, and try to determine whether those would be useful for, uh, the, for Maryland's industry. So, um, if you would put your cell phones on mute or, or vibrate or some other mode that doesn't, doesn't ring, that would be uh, a, good, a good reminder at this point in time. So, to, to the objectives are really to learn about innovative ideas, and we're hearing some in practices from around the country, and get people thinking and talking about what might be a way for us to work together in Maryland to, to enhance or improve the oyster fishery and the oyster resource. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna hear from four different speakers providing perspectives from, from, numer from different states, uh, Washington State, from New Jersey, and from Virginia, and kind of maybe from Delaware as well in a way, and providing some information for your, for your consideration. Uh, and after we do that, we're gonna to try to spend the bulk of the time today and having a community discussion. The, the uh, four speakers and, and three additional invited panelists are gonna come up here We've got three major questions we'd like them and you as a community to address, and I'll go over those in more detail this a uh, later this afternoon. But let's, think of, let's take these presentations today and see whether there's any good ideas that might be worth exploring. Not that we agree or disagree, but we want to explore these further. Um, we have a lot to do in a short amount of time. We're gonna try to manage that as, as well as possible. We're gonna hopefully have an opportunity for a couple of questions at the end of each speaker, but we're gonna have a lot of time for questions and discussion this afternoon, so if you didn't get your question answered initially, we'll find time for that later.